Abel, Abel, what is it? Come on, I want to show you something. I'm sorry, I was looking at the clouds and I must have just fell asleep. Again? Trimming is all you do, isn't it? I guess. What is it you wanted to show me? Well, your birthday present, of course. Oh yeah, today is that day, isn't it? Come on. Is mom home? Why? Something wrong? Can I help you? Oh, um, I used to live here. This is my mother's home. You must be Annabelle then, Mary's daughter? Yeah, just call me Abel. It's wonderful to finally meet you. I'm so sorry for your loss. My loss? Well, your mother passed away a year ago. She left this house to me in her will. I'm a good friend of hers, one of the only people she talked to in her last days. No one told me about this. She didn't leave anything for me. Of course. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you. I thought that you would have known. Would you like to come in? <laughs> well, I guess it is your house after all. <laughs> exactly the same. I clean up in here enough, but I try not to touch anything more than I have to. This house is like a museum. Everything is too valuable. So what brings you back home? Oh, um, well, I came, I came back because, well, I wanted to see my sis, my mother play the piano. Your sister? I don't have one. Mary mentioned her once. Where is she? I don't want to talk about that. Mary did say you were a great musician. I'd like to hear something if you don't mind. I don't know about great. I'm sure she didn't mean it. I haven't played in years. I'm not very good. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. It's too quiet around here. Well, I guess if you really want to hear something, I don't mind. Is it still in there? So 
what do you know? Nothing, really. I used to play piano all the time when I was little, but I've forgotten everything now. Except for one thing. I recently heard a song I've been dying to play. What is it? I have no idea what it is. It's, I don't know, important, I guess? Important? Yeah, it's hard to describe. When I heard it, I felt this sudden nostalgia for my home and my family. Especially strange because I didn't exactly like growing up here. That's why, that's why I ran away. And yet it's brought me back to this place. Mary did say that life at home could be a little difficult at times. I'm, I'm sorry, I realized that this is none of my business. <laughs> Mary talked to me about everything. It is what it is, I suppose. It really has been a long time. It's done and fine. Go on. One time, when I was little, I overheard my parents talking about my twin sister, who I never knew about. They say she died at birth. I never knew her name, if she had one. I don't know how, but she wrote this song. She wanted me to hear it. I just know it. Are you close with your sister? I suppose. I mean, I have always felt a connection with her. Like this song. It's a point of contact for us. So why did you live What do you mean? Why did you live, but not her? Well, I have always wondered about that. I mean, there has to be a reason. Was it because she let you live? Or did she sacrifice herself for your sake? Or were you the one who took her life? And what do you think she's really trying to say through this song she made for you? Excuse me, but who are you? A friend of your sister's. I don't know what my mother told you, but this isn't funny. Please get out of my house. I know where she is. You're lying. Get out. I can bring you to her. I know where she is. Where is she? I don't think you want to see her. She's very upset at you. What do you mean she's upset with me? Can you at least tell me your name? Where are you going? I'm talking to you.
Can I help you? Hello, my name is Madeline. I'm an old friend of Abel's. Does she still live here by any chance? Oh, she doesn't actually. I'm very sorry. Do you know where I could see her again? We were good friends in high school, but we haven't seen each other since then. I'm sorry to say that I don't know where she is either. It's a long story. Why don't you come in and talk for a bit? I'm her sister, Bridget. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Abel ran away from home a long time ago without a word. Day and night we searched everywhere and we called everyone, but nothing worked. She was gone. It was devastating for mother and I. And then after a while she passed away, probably from all the grief. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you'll find her one day. For such a long time, I've been trying to figure out why she did it. I've been trying to make sense of the situation every way that I could, but eventually, I've just had to accept that I'll never know. And it's been long enough now that the reasons don't even matter anymore. I can't imagine what that must be like. It makes me wish that I had made more time for her. Maybe then she would have had more of a reason to stay, but I just got too busy after school and you know how that is. Do you still have your piano? Yes. I heard a new piece of music that I wanted to show her, but I guess I could show you instead. Oh, well, that sounds nice. You'll see. I think you'll like it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Where did you hear this? I wrote this. I hardly showed it to anyone. Where on earth did you hear this? From Abel, of course. Where is she? I don't think you want to see her. She definitely doesn't want to see you. Why wouldn't she want to see me? She's my sister. Why do you think she ran away in the first place? She hates you, that's why. She wants nothing to do with you. And she's thrilled to know that Mary's gone. You're a liar. Where did she run off to? Is she doing okay? You'll see her soon enough but I'm not going to tell you where she is. I'd have to bring you to her. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're gonna tell me right now, or I'm calling the police. All right then, I see how it is. Have a nice day. Wait! I'll go with you. Do you remember the night before she ran away? It happened so suddenly. You woke up the next morning believing she had just gone out for a little while, but you didn't know what was going on. Each passing hour felt like a nail driving further and further into your head, and that's exactly what your sister wanted. And where did she go from there? People didn't know where she was going. She didn't know anyone or have any plans. She just wanted to get away. But why? She didn't say why. Exactly. Even around me, Abel was always very private. It seems to me like you weren't the person you once were. Come on, Abel's this way.
I've been talking to Bridget lately. Do you know why she made that song for you? She wanted you to come back home. Not because she wanted to see you again, but because she knew you hated living there. Bridget knows how miserable you were growing up in that house. You spent your life there, and she wasn't going to let you leave. I don't believe you. It doesn't matter what you believe. She can never forgive you for what you did. If you got the chance to see her again, what would you say? I'm sorry. Let's move on from this. What do you say to something like that? You better think of something soon. She'll be here any minute. Wait! Hey! Where are we? We're almost there. It was just around this time. Take me back! I don't want to go. You don't want to go. Your own sister is in there. This was a bad idea. She left me to go make a life of her own, and I respect that. I don't want to bring her any more suffering. Please, just take me back. A member of your own family is in there. The one you've been searching for for years. This is what you wanted, isn't it? To reunite. To look after each other just as family should. No. I never want to see her. Bridget! Where are you? Don't listen to her. She's lying. show you something. I'm sorry, I was looking at the clouds. I guess I just fell asleep. Again? Dreaming is all you do, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. What is it you wanted to show me? Well, your birthday present, of course. Oh, yeah. Today's that day, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You'll see. 